Taurus. Thanks for stopping by my channel, Beyond the Moon. I am doing your peek at your person, love reading. It is timeless, so I trust that when you see this, it's meant to find you. All right, so Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If this does not resonate, please check your other placements um, and feel free to cross-watch for messages there. Go back in my playlist. All my readings are timeless, so if something catches your eye, feel free to watch it. Um, also, Taurus, I am doing a free 30-minute love reading giveaway. The winner will be picked on or around July 1st. Um, in order to enter, all you have to do is three simple things. Please subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment your name below. That will get you entered. Um, for the month of June, I am also, in, uh, also in, offering also... <laughs> We are at a Mercury retrograde, right? <laughs> I think. Um, I'm also offering 30-minute readings for $30. Um, so all that information is below. I also offer hour-long readings and distance Reiki healing. You can find all that down below. All right, so let's get into it. So Taurus, this is about your person. However, I could be speaking directly to you. Um, it is general, okay? All right, so Taurus... What is their person's overall energy? Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. And healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents and romantic feelings at the bottom of the deck. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. All right, so I'm getting the feeling that there is some romantic feelings here. It's a newer connection. You're getting to know each other. Um, and possibly one of you has some, maybe some leftover, uh, shadow work to do from childhood or past relationships. Okay. Um, sometimes, you know, between relationships, we don't always heal. Um, and that baggage kind of gets brought into the next connection. I feel like one of you could be healing to the other person or hopefully not triggering in a bad way, <laughs> um, but helping people, helping them or them helping you resolve um, past experiences, okay? So, but let's get into it. Taurus, what's going on with your person? Taurus's person, what is going on? Seven of Wands, yeah, being a little bit guarded. So what was it? As you reveal your innermost selves, your bond deepens. So someone needs to open up a little bit and not keep to themselves or keep them in their bubble of protection here, all right? I feel like someone, and I'm going to just say it's your person. It could be you, but I'm going to go off of your person. Someone needs to let their walls down a little bit here, open up a little bit more. Um, also could be meditation or doing some inner self work for healing, okay? All right, we have the world and knight of pentacles. There could be a distance between the two of you. Um, doesn't have to be. Uh, this also speaks of a new cycle and it's something that is moving very methodically, stable, not something that's like just jumping in and getting married or, you know, moving in together. Like it's not something that's going to just all of a sudden like take off. This is something that is actually very grounded. All right. Um, very grounded, very slow moving, very methodical. It's a new cycle. Okay. Um, it's strong. It's stable. All right. Um, it's not horse. It's a stallion. It's very strong. Okay. Um, uh, Virgo energy here. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. It's divinely guided. This is a soul connection, something that's meant to happen. You and this person were meant to cross each other's paths. All right. And then we have the Magician and Queen of Pentacles. Someone's trying to manifest this. It's, it is being manifested. Someone was trying to manifest this. And, and it doesn't necessarily mean like, if you just met this person, it's not like they were like, I want to meet my Taurus. You know what I mean? They were manifesting your qualities and the universe is delivering. But I feel like 
this was something, this is something that's meant to happen. Like inner growth kind of happened or you're supposed to be in each other's life. Okay. It's something, again, it's going to be, I feel very strong and sturdy long-term, long-term, possibly higher level of commitment. So we have Capricorn, Gemini, uh, Sagittarius, Virgo energy here. All right. Like very, I don't know, I feel like this is going to be a very calm connection. A very understanding, calm, same page, very like structured and grounded connection here. Very stable connection. Um, but let's see, what um, what's blocking exterior influences or external influences or blockages? Seven of Pentacles. All right, it's uh, it's gonna take time. It's gonna take time. All right, so yeah. See, so someone, <laughs> Taurus, one of you wants to move fast, and the other one of you wants to plant seeds, water, nurture, care for this. I feel like it's you, Taurus, because Taurus is Earth energy. Um, this is Gemini energy here. Someone could want things to move fast. The other one wants to take it slow. But I feel like there is going to be a common ground. But there might be a little bit of a hiccup in this connection as far as being on that same page. <laughs> All right, but let's see. So something to do with time is a blockage or moving too quick. Maybe one of you moved too fast in a past relationship and now you're like, I, I can't move fast. I need to get to know you. I need to do some healing, I, you know. But there's definitely romantic feelings here. What was underneath that? Very soon. Very soon, okay? Blockages or external influences. Blockages or external influences. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Someone could be a little bit cold or cut off or kind of very blunt with their words. There could have been an Aquarius... Libra, Gemini, that interfered here? Or that could be an ex that messed up one of you. And that's why this person wants to take it slow, you know, and heal. King of Cups and Knight of Cups, Scorpio energy. And Knight of Cups. Could be an age difference between the two of you. Doesn't have to be. Um, I feel like someone is focusing more on stability than they are feelings. So there's feelings here. Don't forget, there's romantic feelings here. But I feel like this person is focusing more on practical, methodical, stable, finances, like the technical parts of this moving forward, instead of just wearing my heart on my sleeve and just going with the flow and, oh, I love this person. I'm going to be with them. Like, I feel like this person's more like checking themselves, you know, checking this connection um, before they open their heart. Which could be why they started off very self-protecting, guard up a little, you know. They want to start this new chapter, but they want it to be right. Because I feel like before, they may have been a little bit like the Knight of Cups or Page of Cups. Wearing their heart on their sleeve and then getting burned. Let's see, how does this person feel about you? How do they feel about you, Taurus? All right, Scorpio energy again, but we have three of wands, eight of pentacles, and then judgment. This could be an ex coming back, okay, for reconciliation. Um, and if it is, 
that's saying that this person wants to do it right this time. They don't want to rush into anything. They want to do it right. They want to make sure it's going to be stable. All right. If it's not an ex and this is new, I feel like this person sees you making like a very big decision about how long this may take or how long something is going to take to come in and putting in that work and effort into this. They see growth with you, but the, it's something about time. Three of Wands, Seven of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Like all of that is like taking time. Let's see what else. How else do they feel about you, Taurus? Seven of Cups. Making a judgment call. Mm. I feel like, yeah, they're... I don't, I'm not looking at the Seven of Cups as options. I'm looking at that as them trying to be very strategic on making the right choices. Six of Pentacles, making sure that there's equal give and take, reciprocity, balance, making that big decision. So this could be you, because this is how they feel about you, or this could be them feeling that way about you. Like they are trying to clear up confusion. Yeah, getting that clarity. trying to get that clarity that this is going to be a balanced connection. That's all I keep hearing. This person just wants to make sure. That's it. Whether it's a new person or an ex coming back, there's a lot of romantic feelings here. Opening up to each other, healing. This person just really wants to make sure. I feel like they're at that point in their life where they're like, I'm getting too old for this crap. I want something real. I want it real long term. Stable. I feel like they know you're willing to put in that work and effort. They see you as like a hard worker, very dedicated to making things grow. They see you as balanced. I feel like they see you waiting for them to like move a little quicker. Uh, let's see, what are they hoping for the outcome? What are they hoping for the outcome? Hopes for the outcome. Too many. Oh, not really. All right. Hi, Priestess. Pisces, Scorpio, energy, strength, Leo, energy, and five of swords. Again, they're hoping that they're not going to be conflicted about things. They can get out of their head and that this has a very strong promise. Possibly, you know, listening to their intuition or hearing messages clearly about this. But having that strength and confidence to move it forward. Ten of Cups, to that ultimate happiness. Maybe even starting a family for some of you. What else? Hopes for the outcome. I feel like this person gets in their own freaking head too much. It's like the, the fear of the past... They need to get over it. They need to heal that and get over it and move on. And take that leap of faith. Yep, look at it. They need to move on from the past. Past heartbreak, past hurt, past whatever. They need to stop fighting against themselves. They need to lower the wall. Because it's like they're... One minute they're feeling like this, the next minute they're feeling like this. Like, yes, I want this. And then it's like, oh, I don't know. They do know, 
they do know. But they're, it's like head over heart. Like they're battling their heart and their mind. They're battling the now and the past. And even if you had nothing to do with their past, it's still like, oh, they got to heal that. But I feel like they are hoping for that family dynamic or next level, starting a family or moving in together or having abundance and growth opportunity here. That's you, Taurus energy. They need to work on their confidence, their strength. They need to get out of their freaking head. And they need to listen to their intuition. <laughs> it's like one step forward, two steps back with this person. And it's, it's all fear-based. And it's all past stuff fear-based. You know, like paying way too much attention to like small red flags when it's probably not even a red flag. It's peach <laughs> or pink. You know what I mean? Very, very fear based here. But they're you're healing to them and they know this. And I feel like it's going to take, that's what it is, the time. It's going to take patience, Taurus, on your part to help this person through that past trauma, past experience, whatever it is. That's what the time is. All right. That just made sense. So it's it's on you to, to be patient through this. But what's the biggest obstacle? Biggest obstacle Taurus is going to have to face. <laughs> Them letting go. That's what this whole reading basically is about with their fear. They need to let the past go. It could even be like how they grew up or friends or parents or family or work. I don't know. There's something that's freaking this person out. Maybe because it's real and they never had real, it could be that, and then the source. Following intuition, going within, seeking the truth, the clarity, divinely guided, understanding that this is meant to happen. So that's the biggest challenge here, is knowing this is divinely guided and to let go of all the past because it doesn't matter anymore. You're in the present. So... Taurus, that is what I have for you this week. Um, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment your name below uh, to be entered into the free 30-minute love reading giveaway. Um, if you'd like to book a 30-minute reading for $30 or even an hour-long session or distance Reiki healing, all that information is down below in the description box. And until next time, Taurus, love and light. Take care.